Wilson sitting here with the one, the only Spooky Ruben, and I'm here for Spooky Single of the Week series. I love that you're doing this, just putting out a song a week and showing people the inner workings of your madness mm -hmm. and brilliance. Uh, we're going to talk about a song this week called Cavity Central Theme. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a song that never appeared on any album, correct? That's correct. Yeah, yeah but you did make a short film called Cavity Central, and this is the theme song to this bizarre film. That's right. <laughs> I mean, this, this movie is out of control, and I felt like I was on mushrooms watching it. Is that what you intended? Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Alors, la deuxième chose, qu'est-ce que ça va être? Oh la la! Le poisson. The fish. Cavity Central is one of eight short films that I did for this for my Dizzy Playground video series. It was co-produced with Exclaim Magazine, which is a, a pretty is a national music magazine. So they featured it on Exclaim TV, and it was actually also on Canadian uh, cable uh, television. In fact, on a, a, sh uh, a station called Aux TV, A U X. Um, but so the idea was that in every episode, I had different guest musicians. Mm -hmm. In this one, I had um, Melissa Aftermauer from Smashing Pumpkins, Hole, and so we featured one of her songs, a snippet of her song, and a snippet of one of my songs. And then in, in addition, musically, what I do for each episode is I write a different theme song for each episode. Spooky's so, Dizzy Playground. And yeah, people can right. find those ep episodes of that. Out that's there correct. Yeah. In internet land. I know. I saw one uh, that you had Ariel Pink on one of that's them. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are incredibly fun and bizarre. And this is the uh, theme song to it, which is at the beginning of the film. Mm -hmm. And it sort of has. I mean, kind of nailed it. It's like a perfect opening theme song, but it also kind of has this silent movie vibe. Uh -huh. Like it almost it sounds like music that would be put to a silent film. Mm -hmm. uh, was that sort of what you were aiming for as well? Because I know that there is some kind of Super 8 looking footage in it. and Yeah, I, so what I do, I, in the in each episode I sort of play around with different languages and this is the episode that I call like the French episode, which is very fitting because Melissa is from Montreal and she speaks French, so we did, and then so we have this sort of, the, the, this French character who's like the the surrealist dentist in this uh, French town. That's, mm -hmm. sort of, yeah. that's sort of the backdrop. So, you know, I put accordions and I put these sort of piccolo kind of flute in there and just to enhance the enhance the atmosphere. And we've talked before about uh, reoccurring themes but also reoccurring instruments and once again I, it, there is some sort of xylophone <laughs> thing. What? You just keep that's... grabbing mallets and hitting things yeah. <laughs> in all of these songs. So what, what is that that's, one in particular? That's a, a, a glockenspiel. 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 Yes. But it's, you know, it's, it's actually, it's a digital glockenspiel. It's, I didn't actually use, I was just using a MIDI keyboard. Oh. So no mallets involved. Exactly. Yeah. Um, this film has also another star in this, uh, in this film is the one and only O.T. Biggs. Correct, O.T. Biggs. So O.T. Biggs, I try to have O.T. Biggs pretty much in everything I do. Who is O.T. Biggs? O.T. Biggs is, I would call him, well, he's my, um, he's like my mascot. Mm -hmm. And he kind of, usually he appears at my live shows. I mean, I, I try to, you know, I try to tell him when I'm wearing, when I'm appearing, mm -hmm. but he's, um, he's got his own Thing going on, you know. I got to meet OT Biggs. Oh, yeah, recently. Oh, yep. right. Yeah. Oh, at the R shoot. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Very quiet. Very, very. He was, seemed very quiet, but um, had a had a nice talk with him, and but at least I was talking. <laughs> uh, OT Biggs was not, but I just mm -hmm. assumed OT Biggs was just kind of having a day. Yeah, no, so. I'm I'm happy. So, I just want people to know, like, we actually uh, Troy and I and Cody, who's our cinematographer right here. Hello, Cody. Hi. <laughs> um, 
We, I'm in Seattle because we shot these, um, a couple of skits. Yes. Which, um, I couldn't be more excited about doing this because I'm a huge fan of Troy's comedic film work. <laughs> in fact, Cody and Troy used to uh, have a, a comedy group together called Black Daisy, which, um, and so, and I've, I've, you know, back when we met, we were already talking about doing stuff. Yeah. We were talking about doing something together like 20 years ago, and then... Yeah, long I time. I think, you know, and then I also do, because they saw that I also do these sort of comedic short films, and then, and both of them are also excellent musicians, and so it's like, finally, we, finally, we, we yeah. did it. So, yeah, because yeah. we came to your show, you came to Seattle, you played at the track there, and this is over 10 years ago, for sure. Mm. And Cody and I wanted to obviously come see you. We were longtime fans. And then uh, we had our DVD back when people made DVDs. Uh, mm -hmm. And we had our DVD of our Black Daisy stuff. <laughs> and we just handed it to you. We're like, here's our comedy DVD. And you're like, oh, cool, thanks. But you actually checked it out. And then we find out you had a DVD. And also, similar, just bizarre, you know, uh, mm. surrealist, you know, humor. And that is how we sort of first started talking. And we've been talking about doing this for a long, long time. And here you are in Seattle, and we filmed, and we're filming, and it finally came to fruition. Do you mind if I tell people a little bit what this comedy is? Our new comedy this okay. is your channel. So, the basically the the plot. I mean, the backstory is that um, Troy plays my manager mm -hmm. in these comedy skits, <laughs> and he's got this. I can't. It's it's hard to explain who, your character, but he's he's a terrible manager, <laughs> and pretty much just <laughs> it, it never decides to do anything that would be in your best interest. It, he's also kind of manic and way out of touch. But I, heard, I already forgot his name. What did we, what did we name him? <laughs> Johan Pemberton. Johan Pemberton. And but he's also very prestigious, you know? He, he kind okay. of, it, he, <laughs> he's very posh. He seems like he would, should be playing lacrosse rather than managing an artist. But he's given it a whirl. <laughs> and, uh, and what's incredible is that... So I played a show in Seattle last night. And we, for the first time, we actually did this thing where Johan Pemberton appeared alive on stage at yeah. the show. Yeah, I cut you off. I, I stopped really the show <laughs> to let everybody know that you had a show the next day and we needed to save your voice right. because you were playing at a Panera Bread in Tacoma. <laughs> right. And uh, yeah. some people actually believed people, it. Some people believed it in the audience. They're asking me, like, what Panera Bread am I playing? Which, which, what's the address? Which one? Well, also, and then, you know, Spooky runs around in the actual crowd a lot during his shows. And um, my character, your manager, um, wanted people to be able to see you because it was dark in there. So I turned my flashlight <laughs> app on and just followed you around so that you had your own spotlight. But I was still, you know, <laughs> with my pipe. <laughs> and you're just like headbanging, going crazy. Um, it was a lot of fun, so thanks for having me. That was, that was incredible. That was a blast. So yeah, Cavity's central theme is out today. Um, it's a Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon Music, Google Play Music, Deezer. It's a, anyway. It's, My, is it on MySpace? <laughs> <laughs> and join Spooky next week. Another single coming out for Spooky Single of the Week series. Hashtag S-O-T-W.